It's been really tough for us. We've been keeping a secret from you. And that is that uh, we're moving on. We found her. Clarity 2. Now, I know what you're saying. You guys aren't sailing anymore. Those masts are too short. Well, this is a motor sailor. And our reasons for switching are pretty easy to figure out. Isn't she cozy? We're just sick and tired of being outside in the elements. I mean, look at this pilot house. We don't have to be out in the sun. We've got heat up here, air conditioning. And look at our navigation system. The hot tub should be delivered any day. I know we're going to catch a lot of flack for this, but sailing is just too much trouble. Oh. Change of plans. We're trying to go south to the Raggeds today, and we headed out for the sail, and wind is basically blowing from where we want to go. So instead of battling it, we're just gonna go where the wind wants us to go. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of days like this. It's just fun to go sailing with nowhere to really go. Just sail to sail. Tack back and forth all day long if you want. It's perfect out here. I have so much laundry for two weeks, so I'm excited to get it done in one spouse. Yeah. Don't jump. Don't what jump. What are you doing? I'm just trying to get down to our thing. That's a long race. Well, in a very, very kind gesture, our friends on Sabado take us out for dinner. Bacon cheeseburgers. How can we say no? <laughs> as we like to do, changed our mind at the last second. We were headed south, but the wind was too much in our face. So we turned north and we're gonna meet up with some friends. Pleasure going fast in light winds. 7.2 knots with a wind speed of 8.8 8, 8 .8 to 9.1. Not bad. <laughs> Our apparent wind is just about 090, just straight off our right side. We can pinch up maybe another five degrees, but 
Not much more than that. You run the risk of collapsing the chute behind uh, the mainsail. The mainsail creates a wind shadow. And if the top of the sail collapses, it can rip on the spreader, that sort of thing. So it's about as high as we want to pinch. It's gonna be close. We could use another three or four degrees. But maybe the wind will come around for us. some butternut squash soup here and some fresh bread. I've had this squash here for at least two months, maybe maybe three months. So I figured, hey, it's a good time to use it. It was still going strong, but I'm excited. I love a, a butternut curry squash, usually a couple times a year. It's not one of Nick's favorites, but I'm sure he will enjoy it. I'm also marinating a pork tenderloin with some of my fresh rosemary, the only herb left. <laughs> uh, it's doing great, by the way. And so, yeah, we're going to have a nice dinner tonight. I'd say five or so knots in six and a half or seven knots of wind is a-okay. You know, we had the wind coming forward of the beam, so we had to put the spinnaker away and roll out the jib. Final little push, maybe eight or 10 miles, and we should be up to Highborn Key. Highborn Key. Where? Meet up with our friends, Vanessa and Ed. These are some clients who bought a boat. You may have heard us mention our consulting business. It seems a large percentage of our viewership are doers. That's right. Whether it's helping plan with the finances, looking over the shopping list or going over surveys, it tickles our hearts to think that we could help with the process. And out of 48 clients, we've got eight boat purchases. Nice boat. And yes, we're starting to meet you out here. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> I Welcome think to the Bahamas. You guys are the fastest zero to cruising. Yeah. That we know. <laughs> I don't record. know if that's the smartest decision, but what the heck? No. Can't wait Leave to hear. before you look. You know, uh. sometimes it's very good advice to do that. <laughs> you know, just getting. Oh, goodies! There's goodies. chocolate and thingy. Oh, oh yeah. And masa and coals. Thank Without you. The mas Would anybody like curry butternut squash soup? Yes. Okay. That Nick sounds awesome. I know Nick does that. No, I, I would like love some. Okay. Perfect. That night, looking at the weather, it became clear we should head south if we wanted to avoid some stronger headwinds that would last for the next week or so. So, we got up early and hit it hard. after 6 a.m. and uh, well, after a quick trip up here we're gonna turn right back around and head south. The wind is gonna pick up and it's gonna be in our face. It's gonna be a bit of a pound for us today but it will be a much bigger pound if we wait around so I'm gonna go ahead and saddle up. I just uh, 
feel really achy behind my head. I kind of woke up really tired. And this movement makes me tired. So I'm just, I'm just resting it. This is the price we pay for that nice sleigh ride yesterday. We are pounding upwind all day long. Just getting a slight angle now so that we can uh, sail without tacking every 40 minutes. Probably gonna get in after sunset. Gonna have the skinny water route, but it'll be high tide. And we'll be back where we started yesterday. Can you believe it? No. What we do for a chocolate bar. <laughs> that was crazy. But we did like 120 miles in two days. 150. I feel like I feel like I went so far, but I'm in the same place. You are. But it's pretty awesome. Full moon. This is one of my favorite anchorages. Yeah. This is really good really spot. Leave a note in the comments if you fell for that. Because, I mean, Nick's photoshopping skills are pretty good. It's probably the worst special effects you've ever seen in a video. Go back and rewatch it, you see how bad it is. No, we are, we're not moving on to a motorboat yet. But people <laughs> ask us, would you ever do it? And I say, yeah, absolutely. Especially something like that Katie Krogan 54. Yeah, that was a beautiful boat. Special thanks to Stephen and Suzanne. That was so cool of you to participate. Yeah, the boat's name is really fortitude, not clarity <laughs> too. But maybe someday for us, we'll want to forget about pulling on the strings, and especially for cruising in cooler climates where the wind is more variable. I can really see it make a lot of sense. Go up to Alaska. Ooh, sounds like a good idea. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your week. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, everybody, and special thanks to the patrons. Bye. Bye-bye. There's uh, plenty of space up in here if you want. Yeah. It looks like there's space in here if you want it. Just a little bit. We have about 130 feet of scope, just so you guys know. Oh, thank you. How much? 130? 130, yeah. 130. We were it's gonna ask you to put some fenders up, but we were gonna just stay <laughs> We can do that. <laughs> do you wanna? We've actually never done that for good. Yeah. Okay. I, I would think that with that nice vinyl wrap, you wouldn't want anything to happen. Yep.